Hey guys, who are we all? So welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the next seven days for Sagittarius placements. So if you have Sagittarius as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury or North Node in your birth chart, this reading will be for you. Everything that you need to know can be found in the description box below. So guys, just want to let you know, I've got my windows open, so if you hear any additional noises, um, really sorry about that, but it's a bit warmer um, here in the UK, and so I just have to have my windows open, okay? So thank you for bearing with me. We're going to get into your read now. This is the Modern Witch Tarot that we're using today. So, Angels of Love and Light, you please have clear and concise messages for Sagittarius placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury and North Node. What do they need to know? For the current energies for the next seven days from whenever they come across this reading what do they need to know please and thank you what do they need to know please and thank you two more shuffles guys and then we'll cut up the deck and get into your reading thank you for your patience i greatly appreciate it what's going on oh 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 okay they wanted to okay i feel like i and that one, they did not want me to let go of them. Okay, interesting. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. So heavy earth and water placements could be significant. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Cancer Scorpio Pisces and the strength card Leo energy may be significant as well. Guys. The first thing I'm picking up on is that ultimately there could be someone potentially in your life could be a strong feminine energy it doesn't have to be and i'm reading energy rather than gender or sex as you guys know there could be someone around you who may be feeling a little bit inclined to stir up a little bit of trouble with saying of certain things maybe projecting certain things onto you and this could be in regards to a romantic connection now you may already be dealing with this person romantically um or you could be about to start dating someone or reconnecting with someone but there could be someone who's getting ready here if they haven't already to potentially pick a fight with you in regards to your choice for some reason and what I'm feeling is that there is someone that you admire a great deal and you have a lot of respect for this person that you're moving towards romantically and you care about them a great deal as well. And I do feel on some level that yes, of course, you care and have respect. I'm hearing for this feminine energy, maybe a mother figure. But then at the same time, there's something that has been said or may be said to you that could be pretty upsetting. Now, this person may entail by saying you've just got the wrong end of the stick or you're misinterpreting certain information here. But I feel like actually somebody isn't mincing their words at all. And it's not really open interpretation whereby someone is giving off this impression that it's because they you know they want what's best for you or what they think is best for you or that they care for you and that they don't want you to be I'm hearing pursuing of this romantic connection and I feel that this is something to do with a dynamic between maybe an adult child particularly a masculine energy for some reason and a mother figure their mother but i feel that someone is kind of in a way very compassionately 
saying to this potential feminine energy, this mother figure, etc., that they appreciate what it is that they're trying to say, but they're going to set boundaries and they're still going to go on forward to pursuing of this person, this romantic interest, which I feel on some level is you. But obviously this could be switched around as we have cross watchers here. But what I'm feeling is that there is someone romantically coming through who may want to start off with something small and kind of go from there and let things organically unfold between the two of you. But you may already have a history with this person. So you may have known them for a long time. You may have met them, you know, in maybe school or college or university or something like this, or you may have worked with this person and I'm hearing you go way back. You, you may have known this person for quite some time. Okay. I'm picking up on years predominantly. And I feel like this person who is interested in pursuing of this romantic connection, they have wanted to do this for quite some time, but they have been a little bit cautious with making their move, but they are still going to follow through with making a move. And I feel like they're kind of surrendering to a particular situation whereby they may have been dealing with a particular person or people around that were very opinionated or had very strong beliefs or views and they didn't necessarily kind of resonate with what this person or these people were saying and still felt this pull to come through and make an appearance and I'm hearing discuss things with you. So this person may have been going through a little bit of drama or conflict or chaos. Um, but this person is really doing their best here. I'm hearing to settle what kind of uncomfortableness or uneasiness there have been to do with someone or a group of people. And they've tried their best. And I feel like regardless of whether that I'm, I'm hearing that whoever your person is dealing with they're always somebody's always going to have things to say and this person is just like look i want to follow my heart i want to follow my instincts I'm being called to kind of tap into my intuition and I'm going to follow through and pursue with this person because I have a great deal of love for this person or I feel I'm hearing I feel I've fallen in love with this person. This person believes that they love you. And I feel like they also know that the feelings are mutual and they don't want anything or anyone to be getting in the way of you and this person getting together. I'm hearing not even their mother not even family members, whoever, because, you know, it's relatively well known that family members can be karmic energies. And I feel like there's something that this person is coming to an awareness of through educating themselves with certain studies here, I'm hearing that are specifically linked to their own self-development and personal healing and maybe looking at certain things that happened in their younger years and also kind of having a closer look at certain dynamics with who they're dealing with and 10 10 on my timer as i say this this person is like wow okay I have to live my life for me and I have to do what I feel is right and best for me. And if that means that my mother or father or whoever it potentially resonates with, if I have to separate myself because of certain differences here or go into a lack of contact or no contact, um, then I feel like that's what I have to do because I'm hearing I have to do this through my own sense of self-preservation and keeping of my sanity. Wow, that's what I just heard. 
So obviously, guys, I know that this has just gone straight into like a love message with a bit of a backstory, but obviously just switch it around to however this may resonate with you because this is definitely someone's message and I'm feeling called to just kind of carry on with the reading. Another message I'm getting, 11.11 on my timer as I say this, okay? I feel that you are about to come into a position and place where you're going to be feeling very stable, feeling very grounded, very secure, especially in your career and your finances. And there may be, I'm hearing some onlookers who are going to be feeling a certain type of way because they can see that you're glowing and that you're progressing and that you're feeling day by day happier and happier and more and more emotionally fulfilled and you've done a lot of healing on yourself and I feel that you know you've always come from such a very pure place a wholesome place when it has come to others even if they have been the ones that have done you dirty like you have never kind of sought out for revenge okay or done of anything that would inflict harm on others it's like you've just kind of taken things on the chin and you've done this kind of internal work on yourself and you've kind of checked in with yourself and made sure that you wouldn't be someone that does of that to anyone else because you know what it's like to experience that type of hurt or pain or upset or sadness so i feel like i'm speaking to someone who is on a very much more of a higher vibrational energy okay and someone that is a lot more self-aware emotionally intelligent and I feel like you are actually someone who is setting an example for others around you and you are going to be elevating in a way where other people may have not necessarily quite believed the way that you're going to elevate, how you're going to ele elevate, I'm hearing, but also how quickly you're going to be elevating as well. I do feel that for a lot of you, you may have had certain thoughts ruminating in your head in regards to other people's opinions, certain people that are close to you or seem to be deemed close to you because I'm hearing they have a title of sorts in relation to you. So I am picking up on family or what have you or what will they think? How will they perceive me? Will they judge me? Will they do this? Will they do that? And I feel that, yes, that may be the case that these people do of that, but I feel now you've come to a place in a position of acceptance that now you're not really caring so much if people are doing of that. You're not going to let it affect you the same way that previously it may have done. And you're going to navigate your own path and follow what you feel is right and best for you. And this is really wonderful because I feel like you're being kind of guided here to this next stage in your life where there's a new chapter, a new beginning, a lot of excitement coming through, a lot of peace, a lot of balance, a lot of stability. And I genuinely believe and feel that you know that what you feel is right for you and you know what you have to do. There are certain people who want to be coming along for the journey, but they're not meant to. So I really feel like there's a sense of like detachment, but you're still kind of sending love, but you're not going to be so absorbed by any negative energy or anything destructive. You're not going to be kind of sucked into petty drama or anything like this. Like you're just not getting involved. Or caught in the crossfire okay and I feel like this is very sensible obviously it's down to you guys you know you do what you like but this is what I'm predominantly picking up on so I feel like for love you have someone very serious about you who's going to be letting their intentions known they're going to be come through with an offer and they're going to be a more emotionally available and vulnerable with you with what it is that actually they've been experiencing and the issues that they've had to go through up until this point so that they actually felt like they had I'm hearing the nerve like the courage the confidence to pursue what they feel is right and best for them in their heart of hearts which is to come through 
and have a very solid connection with you romantically. But also I feel like this person deems you as a friend, a close friend, and they don't want that to be kind of letting go of. So this person is coming through. Wow. Also, guys, I feel like your money is definitely picking up. So if there's a certain business that you have, maybe a small business, maybe you're an entrepreneur, a content creator or something like this, um, there are numbers, okay, that are rising here to do with certain sales or followers or subscribers or something like this. Um, but also I feel that if you're working in a more kind of managerial or a leadership kind of position here in a company, um, I feel that you are someone who's going to have this extra bump in pay or a promotion or you're going to be given extra to, I'm hearing compensate on compensation or something like this look at that with the wheel of fortune just come through leo taurus scorpio and aquarius and sagittarius energy so yes things are working out in your favor i feel like there's i just saw 17 minutes and 17 seconds on my timer there's a karmic cycle that's closing up for you or many for that matter so i feel like there is some very big shifts and changes in all areas of your life but the table is turning in your favor even at the onset, I'm hearing the offset, the onset, however you want to word it here. If certain things don't look like they're going in your favor or you have this fear or anxiety about certain things not working out in your, in your favor, they are working out in your favor. Okay. I'm being called to say that. So let's get some more. As I say that three of cups, as I go to shuffle the cards a little bit. So yeah, you guys are coming out and on top. You guys are going to be the ones celebrating here having good times, you know, so this is lovely, you have been putting in the work in all areas of your life. And because of this, your dedication and your perseverance, I'm hearing is paying off. And you're going to have an easier time of it, I'm hearing in regards to all areas of your life, which is really beautiful. Yeah, justice is coming in. Wow, Libra energy, but the scales are balancing. And we saw the wheel of fortune and that's to do with karma. So the wheels, of, the wheel of fortune, I'm hearing the wheels are turning in your favor, things are balancing off, a lot of you have paid off some sort of karmic debt here, or you've successfully completed karmic cycles. I'm also picking up that there's something significant about Saturn being in retrograde for a few months. Um, so I feel like there's a lot that's going on there. So if you have been someone that's been putting good out there, doing good, you know, not harming or doing of anything to anyone, etc. Like you've just been coming from a very good, pure place with your intentions, your behaviors, your actions, etc, etc. Right. You have a lot of very good Dharma coming your way. D-H-A-R-M-A. -A, and others that haven't have been doing of those things and haven't been doing their healing and haven't been looking within and haven't been doing etc then you know things are not going to look so fortunate for them okay in many ways that can take shape or form in many ways and obviously it's going to be different for all of you but it's not going to turn out so well in their favor but let's get some more cards on the table anyway and find out a little bit more. I mean, some of it could be to do with a legal issue. It doesn't have to be. What's going on? Okay. Yeah, Six of Swords, you're moving on to Karma Waters here. Look at that. So whatever is shifting now energetically and certain events that end up unfolding... They're working out in your favor. And I feel like you are being guided as of right now, spiritually here, to get into this next phase of your life. As I say that with the star, Aquarius energy, Aquarius placements may be significant. You know, you have a very strong connection with your spirit guides, I'm hearing. Okay. You're very tapped into source. You're very connected. I'm hearing well connected with the universe, etc. And so therefore... You have 
this blessing or these blessings just kind of trickling into your life and you see how peaceful this person is just minding their own business just doing of their own thing not feeling stressed not feeling anxious not worried about anything and i'm getting told that you don't have to really worry okay and that's so much easier to say i know i get it but then there are certain things that are going on and it's not your place to be intervening. I'm hearing on someone else's karma. So for some of you, you're going to feel maybe a little bit guilty or a little bit sad or a little bit upset or a certain type of way because, you know, things are starting to get really good for you and you're going, you know, up like this. But then there are others around you who are not really going that way. They're quite the opposite, in fact. And, you, you know, you may, with the kind of nature that you have here with this star, you want to make things better. You want everything to be right for everyone. But with certain things here, you are being told, this is not your place to stay in this position. We want to take you out of here. I'm hearing your spirit guides are wanting to take you out of a situation, maybe actually physically relocate you completely to a different part. I'm hearing of the world somewhere. And then to be associated with certain individuals here who are on the kind of similar level to you in a vibrational sense, if you know what I mean. You know, not saying that you're higher than anybody else and anything egoic. I'm just picking up that, you know, with the sense of energetics, right? So you have a lot of really beautiful things happening and unfolding for you. But you may be feeling a little bit nervous or a little bit guilty or what have you for moving on forward. But you shouldn't be feeling those things, especially not guilty. Because I'm hearing you're an innocent party for through a lot of this or whatever you've had to, I'm hearing, endure. And it's not being fair. But wrongs will be righted and it's coming up for that time. And I feel like you. I'm hearing I just feel it in my bones. It's like you know something is up for you wow with the tower as i say that i mean this is just all of a sudden out of the blue with that tower so when ish hits the fan here guys you know when the tower comes in don't feel like you have to stick around and carry on through with you know picking up the pieces for everyone else's i'm hearing mess um because it's not your karma to do so. It's their karma to clear up their own mess. Look, there's your energy, Sagittarius, with the page of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you're going to be the one that's excited because you're going to have some really wonderful news. And everything that's kind of unfolding relatively soon is going to be like an act of divine love because you've stayed, you know, true to you. I'm hearing to your spiritual path. But the tower is going to come in. So there are certain things that may unfold that you wouldn't even wish on your own worst enemy. But, you know, something is clearly out of your hands and it's not for you to go round and try to help everybody else. You know. But I feel like you guys get what I mean, you know. Anything else for Sagittarius? Wow, King of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, well, there you are. So you see how this king is looking at this tower moment, like sitting there just being like an onlooker. Now, you may feel a certain type of way here. You may feel angry. You may feel frustrated or irritated because you can't be, you know, involved to help resolve of a situation. But you're being told that you just need to sit. You need to observe. I'm hearing observe, not absorb. Okay? Yeah, with the nine of wands. Because look, there are going to be others that are going to be feeling a certain type of way. And feeling, you know, injured or whatever. But you're battling it in your head here should I do this or should I do that? But yeah, there are certain things that are going to be unfolding here with the five of wands, but it's, it's not for you to be intervening again with the Hierophant, Taurus energy.
I'm also picking up on as well is that somebody may try to point blame on you for something unfolding because you rocked the boat in some sort of way by doing or something or carrying out some sort of action that you had on mind that you knew that you wanted to do. And then there's these people kind of displaying certain opinions, etc., that they're like, oh, well, you've done this wrong or you, you know, shouldn't do this, etc., etc. But you trust yourself. So to continue to listen and trust of yourself, and I'm hearing, put those boundaries in place. If you feel uncomfortable with anything, say no. Keep your distance. Keep your distance. The lovers, Gemini energy, and it landed right in between the justice and the six of swords with the king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So for some of you, you may have had to leave a relationship in the past, a karmic relationship, um, or someone is leaving of a karmic relationship in order to be with you. However it goes with the King of Swords, somebody's going to be speaking up and saying, look, um, if they're going to be pursuing you, they want you to know that I'm hearing it's not all in your head, okay? I'm hearing I feel the energy as well with the death card. Yeah, so this person or whoever you're dealing with, or even if this is you, knows that in order for there to be a romantic connection, they have to completely end a cycle with certain individuals or maybe a romantic partner, however it goes. Or they might have already done of this and they have to completely cut ties, okay? But I feel that you are receiving your justice by having of someone in your life who is going to be very forthright, who's going to be very open, honest, carry themselves with a sense of integrity. This person is going to be speaking of their truth, especially in regards to how they feel about you. Yeah, the fall, Aries energy. This person is going to say, look, I want you and I to have this romantic connection i want us to have a new beginning and i want to leave the past in the past and also whatever hurt that there may have been in the past or misunderstandings etc i want to leave that all in the past and this person is going to find out whether you would be open to doing of the same if this is something that resonates but also i feel that some of you in other areas of your life you are going to be receiving some new opportunities whereby you know that you have to take that calculated risk, that leap of faith. And it may be the fact that you'll have to leave your comfort zone or dealing with certain people in your kind of inner circle. And look with the eight of ones, you see this person on the motorbike, you have to get up and you have to leave, you have to move on. You have to start somewhere new. Because I feel things are gonna be picking up for you in a very positive light. I'm getting positive way, but I was getting positive light. You're a very positive light in this world, I just heard. What else here, please, for Sagittarius? What's the underneath this tower, please? Page of Wands, more fire energy. What's the underneath this King of Wands, please and thank you? The Hermit Virgo energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands with the Four of Swords, the Eight of Wands and the Six of Wands with the Ten of Swords, everything is fine, and the Page of Pentacles again with Judgment. There's your energy, Sagittarius, coming through with Judgment and the Eight of Cups. So guys, what I'm picking up on that last kind of couple messages here, those couple of cards, is... You are soon to be making a very big decision in your life. You may have felt a little bit stuck between a rock and a hard place. You may have felt like you've been at a bit of a crossroads. You may have had a very difficult time when it has come to your career. Um, you may have been dealing with bouts of illness. You may have been feeling very tired, very restless, just feeling that something is a little bit off with a certain environment to do with your work. Okay, some of you may have felt like 
you've kind of been appreciated at first i'm hearing when you first started of a, a position of a job like you were getting your kind of kudos type of thing but then something changed up it's like you were doing too well and it was seen in a in a way whereby um other people didn't like the fact that you were doing much better than what they were and so therefore there's this been this uncomfortable energy for quite some time and this restlessness for wanting to move on and to put something in the past and you've been assessing of certain things wondering well am i just overthinking everything um is there something genuinely more going on to do with the situation or am I actually picking up on everything correctly here, right? And know that something is off, even if whoever I'm dealing with is saying of, of, of a support to me or kind of patting me on the back with a certain achievement that I've made and there's nothing more to be read into it, like the sense of there's no need to overthink and be anxious. But actually, on a soul level, your, your body is communicating certain messages to you which actually do confirm what it is that you have been feeling and it's not all in your head you're reading of a situation correctly but you may have not the sense wanted to fully believe or accept of what it is that you were thinking and feeling like for something to be true but there are going to be revealed truths relatively soon with certain actions that take place or certain interactions with individuals and you'll get that clarity very very soon and then I feel you'll kind of know that actually everything is working out for me everything is happening at this point in time even if it ish is hitting the fan there is a reason for it if there are tower moments, there's a reason for it. And it's actually to get me into this position and place and knowing that it's time for me to move, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally. Okay. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing. And what's going through for you is when you do fully have this process of like, you get to the other side whereby you're finally in a state of calm or you've settled into something and a bit new, even if it's a bit rocky at first, you know, with the eight of cups leading to the two of cups, you know, ultimately that this is going to bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment and, you know, a lot of emotional fulfillment. What I feel as well is that romantically, there has been someone that you have history with, right? who wants to come back around into your life, they're wanting to reconcile, they feel this deeper connection, they want to communicate with you basically that um, this person knows and realises that they sat on the fence far too long by being indecisive or not taking of action or speaking up sooner or kind of instigating of anything with you previously, but this person, you know, knows that the consequences of their actions you know have meant that you have felt a bit more distant from this person or you may have not been speaking as much there may have been a lot of time that's passed there may have been no contact or very little communication with you and this person but actually they've been going through the mill themselves with lots of other things in their life that you may not be very much aware of but this person is going to very much put themselves out there so that you kind of know right that actually personally it's got nothing to do with you and more to do with them and whatever else that they've been dealing with in their life and for something that has been going on with them um for you to not be taking personally as to why they have been a little bit more distant or they have been very distant or maybe if they were a bit nonchalant at one point or you know they weren't very good at replying to messages or getting in contact etc um, this person may have gone through a spiritual awakening or the dark night of the soul, okay? They could be just dealing with the last remnants of a particular cycle in their life, which is, li which is related to their awakening. And you're kind of being told or guided to kind of keep, you know, separate from this person and let them get on with it and let them have these certain things revealed to them in their own time. 
And then once that happens, once that occurs, this person will be contacting you, reaching out, pursuing of things more with you. Okay. But this person has done a lot of soul searching and I feel like they've learned a lot. They've grown a lot and they've matured a lot and realized a lot. And now it's this strong kind of energy of right i'm just gonna get all my ish together this person wants to make sure they have all their ish together because the last thing they want to do is come forward towards you and bring some sort of drama or chaos because of certain things not being resolved i even feel on some level if this person did feel this inclination to come forward towards you before certain things were closed off you may have a lot of spiritual protection right now right or you've always got a lot of spiritual protection but what i mean is for this particular situation it's like they're kind of not allowing the sense of access to you so your spiritual guides you know your ancestors your past on loved ones however your guardian angels however it resonates here guys are making sure that certain things are not following through at an earlier point in time because that could cause more harm to do with the situation rather than taking more time that's necessary and being in that sense of true alignment with this connection interesting but a lot of you are definitely feeling this pull for a career change or you're wanting to relocate for this particular job um, this career some of you may want to take a sabbatical and have time off. You may want to travel. You may want to not be employed anymore and become self-employed. Um, there's just a big transformation taking place for you. And obviously everyone's in different situations. But what I'm feeling is that you're wanting to have a lot more fun. You know, I'm getting that that energy of when you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life, like it doesn't feel like a chore. And I feel like you've done of something for such a long time that you know that you're very gifted or talented or very um, advanced in. But there hasn't been that kind of spark that's lit you up that's made you feel like you have maybe that self expression or that originality or inventiveness or creativity um, to tap in more with that kind of side of yourself. And this is something that you're very keen to explore. And I feel like this is something that's going to work out very well for you if that is something you're feeling inclined to do. Really lovely. Lots of different messages here, guys. So obviously, please only take me full resonates. Um, so we have Libra, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, um, Scorpio. Uh, heavy fire aries leo sagittarius and the other signs that i called out earlier may be of significance for you as well i'm picking up on 11 11 1 1 1 um 2 2 2 6 6 6 7 1 7 6 1 6 9 9 9 and any other numbers that I called out earlier. I'm also picking up on 444 and 333. I just got told to say. So anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of your reading. I hope that there were some messages, a few messages, if not the whole reading, that potentially resonated here with you today. So obviously, this is a general. Please only take what you feel resonates and leave the rest. Um, if you fancied supporting myself and the channel, and you have enjoyed of this content, then I would be greatly appreciative if you would like to energetically um, support by liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and I'll get back to you guys um, when I can in regards to this, uh, this or those or that. <laughs> um, but even if you don't energetically donate and you want to financially donate, there's a link in the description box below for a PayPal for the channel. And the other option is super thanks, which is listed underneath this video. So thank you guys so much to those of you who've already done of this. I am very appreciative. Um, please hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video for you and you don't miss out on any updates or future content. 
Uh, thank you to my members. You guys mean a great deal to me. And if you wish to join um, the channel, there's a link in the description box below with all the information that you need. Um, guys, again, thank you for bearing with me with the noise. Um, I just couldn't sit here and kind of like boil up in this room, <laughs> not have the windows open. So thank you. Um, I am very appreciative of that. So I hope the sound wasn't too bad. But please feel free to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury and North node placements in the other zodiac signs for your timeless next seven day current energy check ins and there can be more messages for you. But anyways, thank you for being here. Sending love and light your way. Many blessings. Please take care and I'll see you and speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye, guys.